I get your quick response to what you thought of Joe Biden's speech yesterday, uh, why it took him so long just to unequivocally announce that the U.S. is behind Israel and against this, this terrorist group that's been there for a long time, Hamas. On your second criticism, he's done that from the beginning, maybe not at the pace you and Kelly would like or the cadence, but they've made statements from the earliest moment about the support for Israel. And look, Kelly, I think, and other, others on the right have given him props for his speech yesterday. It wasn't a perfect speech. They want to stay away from Iran now for tactical reasons, but he's going to have to keep up that performance level. But I thought the speech yesterday was pretty raw and powerful and had moral clarity and didn't shade American support for Israel. So I, I'm for rallying around the commander in chief at times like this regardless of party. Mark, I am and too, but, saying, but but the bar is so low for Joe Biden. The guy was at a barbecue over the weekend. He could have given that exact same speech, and I mean word for word, on Sunday. Nothing has shifted between then and now. He could have given that speech three days ago. We've seen just, the atrocities play out on social media. This is not FDR, where he has to wait days and days. By the way, after Pearl Harbor, FDR addressed Congress 36 hours later. Okay, that was in the 1940s. Joe Biden waits four days. Well, yeah, just the way the, the media is. I mean, not, we're, it's, it's not to say first, that, yeah. it's not the first, that we it's unequivocally not the first support Israel? Rob, he said it the first day. You're just rewriting history. He, right, he said, said the, he, they, they, the White House put out a tweet. They also tweeted about junk fees on airlines. Okay, so that what we needed was what we saw yesterday, but we needed that Sunday. I think the president, the bar is so low that everyone said, well, he didn't fall asleep in his oatmeal. So rah, rah, Joe Biden, let's rally behind him. I, I don't think he hit the mark yesterday. Didn't mention our own border. Allison mentioned that he didn't bring up Iran at all. Um, also didn't talk about bringing American hostages home. Three big misses. And now we're way out Again, of Again, you, you want to walk through the reasons he didn't mention Iran and the hostages. It, it's, it's, it's a pur 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 purposeful decision to try to protect American interests and American lives. He's not unaware of the hostage situation. He's not unaware of Iran. He's trying to do a smart thing. You may disagree with it, but again, you say you want, you think the country yeah. should rally around the president. Uh, look, that, that, that's fine. I get that. I'm all for He's rallying around rally the president. The he said, he said, don't you country. dare anybody else get involved in this war in Israel. And what's Lebanon do last night? All right, Hezbollah bombs an Israeli target. Okay, so this war could stretch beyond the borders of Israel, like before the end of the week. And we're all talking about how great Joe Biden's speech was. I just disagree. I just disagree. I didn't think it was that great. But the bar is so low that we think, okay, he didn't fall asleep in place. Great job, Joe Biden. We can